Hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Shorts here. In this video, we're just gonna talk about importing data with uh, Data Import Wizard. Uh, yeah, so let's just get straight into it. Um, to open up Data Import Wizard, click Setup on the top right, and then type in Data Import Wizard on the left. Click on that button. Alrighty, so yeah, next you can just click um, launch wizard that should be all good so we've just created a a basic column here with name um, and then we've got 30 30 new names for the account object so that's all we're going to be importing here so we've got a few different options here you can either, either select standard objects or custom objects uh, leads solutions other objects we're just going to use accounts and contacts for now um, you can also decide whether you want to like insert new records or update existing records um, or you can do an opposite to where you've got new and existing records. So we're just going to do add new records for now. Then match account by name and site. Then the next step would be uh, trigger workflow rules and processes. So uh, this is pretty cool. Like if you if you've got triggers or processes or workflow rules in your Salesforce environment and you don't don't want them to be triggered when you do your insert or update, just leave this unchecked. Otherwise, if you want it to fire, then make sure you check that box. Um, we're just gonna leave that open for now. Then we've got a record type. Uh, record type we'll just leave with customers. Um, and yeah, if you wanna sign contacts to campaigns, you can do that, but we're not gonna do that now. All right, so next step is drag in your CSV file here on the top right. Uh, just make sure it's a .csv file. Do, do, do. Yeah, and then hit next. Alrighty, so next step is to map it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna map the account name for now and hit save. Actually, sorry, let me just hit back. Drag in this one here. Yeah, okay. So we don't want the contact name, just the account name. That's all good, map that. And then you can just click next. So yeah, if you've got more fields, just make sure you map them. And yeah, that, that is pretty much it. So now I can just go start import. So it says, yeah, cool. Congratulations, import started. started. Um, click okay to view your import status in, on the bulk data load job. So it takes you directly there. So, so this is pretty cool. You can see, um, how many records got processed, how many were failed, um, how many retried, all of this stuff. So like another thing about data import, data import wizard that's pretty cool is you can upload like up to 50,000 records in a single, single operation. So that's quite a lot and yeah, it's pretty cool that you can just track it from here. Um, and then you can see like the batches. Um, normally if you have a lot, it's gonna take a lot, lot longer than this. So yeah, let me just go back to uh, Salesforce and go to accounts and sweet. As you can see, we've got all our new accounts inserted. Uh, yeah, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks.